Hey, I'm Jeff from Full Race, and today we're gonna to show you the difference between the OEM F-150 log manifolds and the Full Race Formline turbo manifolds. This is an individual runner design. This is a traditional log manifold design. What we've got here is our 2019 F-150 EcoBoost. This is a three and a half liter engine, same engine as the Raptor basically, and it already has a set of Garrett Powermax Stage 2 turbos and all the bolt-ons Full Race makes, except for the turbo manifolds. And the intention here is to just do a direct back-to-back -back comparison, OEM manifold versus Full Race manifold on a truck that's already set up with the full bolt-on. Mike from MPT has been doing the calibrations on this truck since we got it. It was originally a Ford SEMA build. Went to a couple Ford trade shows after that. What he's done is he had the truck set up on a base tune. We just touched it up, made sure everything was good, dynoed these uh, OEM manifolds, we're switching to the Formline manifolds and then we'll re-dyno and share the results with you. All right, we're here at the dyno. We're gonna dyno the stock OEM Ford F-150 manifolds now. See how she does. We'll switch to the Formlines and see how they do later. And just so you guys know, we are in the middle of the desert in the summer in Arizona. 155, so it's a little warm out today. See how she does. We got 91 octane, not the best fuel around. Pretty warm IAT, not great DA. We're at about 1,100, 1,200 feet elevation, but with this heat and this air, it's DA of like 33, 3,500. So not the best, but we'll see how she does. Mike here from MPT, more power tuning, is on the laptop, on the keyboard. He's been tuning this truck since we got it. What he's doing is updating all the maps for the latest and greatest uh, transmission strategies, ignition timing, boost control, all that stuff. So the last time he tuned it, I think was probably a year and a half ago. And a lot has changed since then. Mike tunes a lot of these trucks and it's constantly evolving. So the plan for this truck, since we've tuned it previously, is first we're gonna run it as it is. The peak boost on that was right around 19 PSI, but this does have uh, Garrett Powermax turbos. So we're gonna run that, see how the 91 octane treats it, and then we're gonna put an updated tune with no physical changes, and try to run some more boost, see where the, where the limit ends up for 91 octane. How much boost, sometimes it's a sacrifice. You know, if you run too much boost and the octane's not good enough, you gotta bring the spark down, it just doesn't make sense. So we try to find a happy balance. After that, we're gonna do the form line manifold swap, which should really open this thing up. We should see some low end power and torque improve, which you're definitely gonna feel on the street. So it's gonna be really nice to see the results on the dyno, the before and after, and hopefully everything goes as planned.
really allowed it to open up. Again, this is a 91 Arizona Octane. So on the top end, we gained 92 horsepower over the stock manifold. Massive difference, insane before and after. Highly recommend it.